I'd like to demonstrate something regarding biomechanics for our contact position on the client. When we're working into a vertical surface coming in horizontally. I'll demonstrate this both for the upper trapezius area and then the quadratus lumborum QL area. So first over here for the upper trapezius. Most people will work this area in this posture. And it's not a bad posture because my upper extremity joints are all stacked. But I'd like to offer an alternative position. Taking one of the hands, in this case my right hand, laterally, externally rotating the arm at the shoulder joint, which is inherently a healthier posture for our shoulder joint, and now bracing one thumb pad over the other, and now leaning in to the upper trapezius. Whether I do it with elbow joint straight or with an elbow against my core and I lean in. As long as my fingers are not so long that they would contact breast tissue on a female client, then there's nothing wrong with this and it's a really nice stacked posture for my upper extremity joints and a way to utilize core body weight to lean in and have this shoulder joint in lateral external rotation, which is a healthier position. Now demonstrating this contact position for the quadratus lumborum. Again, many people work with this posture. Again, not too bad, stacked joints. However, my arms are in medial internal rotation at the glenohumeral joints. So I'll take one of them, my right side. I'll laterally, externally rotate the arm at the shoulder joint. Brace one thumb over the other thumb. And whether I have my upper extremity joints, my elbows in extension, and I lean in by shifting body weight, or I get one elbow in, my right elbow, against my core here, and then lean in with my core. Either way, I can very effectively transfer my body weight, my core mass, into the client. And with this posture of contacts here, it's, I think, easier to access around the bend of the QL and have my shoulder joint in a healthier posture.